Difference between weight and mass. Mass. The mass of the body is the quantity of matter contained in it. The mass of the body is constant and does not change from place to place. It is denoted by small m. Mass of the body is a measure of inertia of the body. Mass cannot be zero. Weight. The weight of the body is the force with which it is attracted towards the center of the earth. The weight of the body depends upon the mass of the body and acceleration due to gravity at that place. Weight is Newton. One kilogram weight is that gravitational force which acts on a body of mass one kilogram. Weight is not constant. The weight can be zero at the center of the earth. Equation of motion for freely falling bodies. The three equations of motion of freely falling bodies is given as V is equal to U plus GT, S is equal to UT plus 1 upon 2 GT square, V square is equal to U square plus 2GS. Acceleration due to gravity for free falling body is plus 9.8 meter per second square. Acceleration due to gravity for a body thrown upwards is minus 9.8 meter per second square. Weight of an object on the moon is 1 upon 6th. Assessment. Before proceeding further, let us know how much you have learned. Fill in the blanks. Very good. Try again. Very good. Thrust and pressure. Thrust. The force acting on a body perpendicular to its surface is called thrust. Thrust is equal to Pressure into area. The SI unit is Newton. Pressure. The force acting perpendicularly on a unit area of the object is called pressure. Force produces less pressure if the area is large and produces large pressure if the area is small. Pressure is equal to force upon area. The SI unit is Newtons per square meter. Uses of pressure in everyday life. The school bags have white stripes because the weight will fall over large area and will reduce its pressures on the shoulders. The tip of the needle is sharp because it will put the force on a very small area of the cloth and producing enough pressure to pierce the cloth being stitched. Pressure on ground is more when a man is walking than when he is standing because when he is walking, the weight of man falls on smaller area and it increases the pressure and when he is standing, the area is large and it produces less pressure. Buoyancy the upward force acting on an object immersed in a liquid is called buoyant force. The upward force exerted by a liquid is also known as up thrust. The tendency of a liquid to exert an upward force on an object placed in it is called buoyancy. Factors affecting the buoyant force Depends upon the volume of the solid object immersed in the liquid. It depends upon the density of the liquid in which the object is immersed. Archimedes Principle When an object is wholly or partially immersed in a liquid, it experiences a buoyant force which is equal to the weight of liquid displaced by the object. The applications are used in designing ships and submarines, lacometers and hydrometers. Buoyant force is equal to weight of liquid displaced by the object. 